So we have made it here. I just got teched in. I didn't want to film anything else from today. I just wanted to get focused on getting here, getting tech, getting ready. So now it's just wait for driver's meeting and then we can start driving. It's gonna be a hell of a turnout. There's already a lot of people here and the gates have only been open for an hour. So it's gonna be a good ass day. Hi, Dad. <laughs> what are you doing? Tightening. course and this is actually gonna be pretty rad so there's two courses running today there's a more competitive course on this side that actually loops over right here and then on the other side there's a hot lap track where it's almost like a figure eight but you don't cross over to where you can go out there and do as many laps as you want but uh, this is the course that I'm pretty stoked on you're gonna be coming right out of that area where that flex is and you're gonna be running the wall and then there's gonna be some looping around coming around here media will be here taking cool ass pictures but uh, this is gonna be rad, I'm stoked. Yeah, driver's meeting was cool, there was a dog. But I'm gonna get in my car and start getting ready uh, to do my first run. Let's party. <laughs> me but first run was sketchy as shit like I said before this is my first time of power steering and it felt real fucking weird and uh, I forgot that I rubbed my tension rods at full lock so I have to uh, definitely watch out to hit full lock and not do it so uh, I'm gonna go out for it again I'm really stuck in between second and third I gotta figure that out but we'll see it's the first run it'll be all right a whole lot better but I still got lost it's just gonna take a few runs before I understand it but yeah it sucks after that first clipping point I have to go into third to just get enough forward momentum to get around that uh that outside clipping point but oh well still having fun Way wrong. 
<laughs> that was fucking great. No, no, I'm out. I need to make sure my wheel's okay. Okay, so on that last run, right before I initiated, the engine got to a certain RPM and then just stopped at that RPM. You get back to the pits, figure out, we're only running on four cylinders, start looking through the spark plug wires, and we found one was actually slit. We did, let's just say, some sketchy shit to get that plug wire back together, but it's running way better now, and we're about to go out for the first run to see if it actually works. It's misfiring like a motherfucker, but we're gonna see what happens. Fuck this. You go. You go or me go? Me go?
thought he was never going to transition. good day so far uh, I had that coal wire issue um, I had another issue I couldn't think of I did some real fucking stupid a minute ago where I tried to uh, back up after changing my tires but I left my jack on my diff so wheels were just spinning and I thought that I blew out my reverse but cars all back together everything's good just to end up with Connor I ended up passing him um, those ATR Sport 2s that I bought actually aren't that bad. Um, we're just going to have to see how good the like life of them are. But uh, so far, so good. I've been having a blast. So we'll keep driving and see what happens. Okay, so you remember how I said that I'm not doing the competition? Well, I'm now doing the competition. Um, I was pretty much just signed up for it. They said that I could do it. Um, I really don't know how to go about it. I'm not really a competition type person, so I'm looking at it more as just having fun and a scheduled tandem. Uh, I'm going up up against my buddy Chris. He drives that FRS right there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Um, I don't know if I'll make it anywhere up higher in the ranks if I'll get this first round or not. Who knows? I'm just here to have fun. So, wish me luck, I guess. <laughs> Fucking killed it and I fucked it up. I should have went into third. Whatever. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You didn't even puncture your radiator. That's good. I mean, yeah, that's a plus. But my stretch I was there. Yeah. I hate power steering. 
What? That's because of power steering. Really? The first time power steering and it went to full lock, stayed there, and then didn't come out of it and just fucking. Do you have uh, offset rack spacers? No, that, really? It, your steering might have been binding it full. It was completely binded, yeah. Yeah. So that did not work out like I thought it would. So in comp on second run, I got stuck at full lock and it was a little too late to fix it. But it looks a lot better now. The biggest problem is the tension rod bracket got snapped so my caster's super far back. This sucks. And my wheels kicked in. We're not sure what bent, but I'm gonna get a trailer at home and then we can talk to them. It is now the next day, and this sucks. So we're gonna look at the car a little bit, and I'm gonna explain a little more of what happened. So let's look at the car first, get that out of the way. Uh, this is one of the parts of the damage um, that got pulled back out quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the top part of the, uh, the strut tower is fine, straight, and then it comes in. But strut tower is in the correct place. It didn't get moved back, moved over. Frame rail for the most part is straight. That's not a big deal. If it did bend, it's just slightly after the cross member. So again, not that big of a deal. The radiator is kind of in a junky situation because we had to uh, pull on the bottom of the core port down there. So that kind of fucked up where, that, where the radiator mounts. So we just kind of have it sat in there. And the core support in general is just kind of all mangled up. That is the tension rod bracket. After we uh, after we pulled everything back forward, that actually straightened it back out quite a bit. That was pretty much tacoed, almost touching the ground. But now we got it pulled back out a little bit. But I have another one. Uh, somebody swung through and gave me another one. But we had to pull the car out a little bit more to be able to get the new one to mount up in the correct location. The wheel from that is now pulled really far back in the wheel well. So you can see right there is very tight and it's not over here at all. So once everything gets pulled back, I'm gonna have to mess with the alignment and try to get my caster moved to where the wheel will be sitting a little over here. This sucks. So straight body line completely caved in. And then here's the damage from the bottom. Yeah. It looks worse in person. <laughs> See the camera screen, it doesn't look near as bad. Yeah, I'll try to get a super high up angle. Yeah. Um I got lucky and it missed the door pretty much completely no completely holy shit yeah I perfectly missed the door um, yeah look at that missed it all so that's the cool thing is I'm able to open and close the door no issues and then the wheel back here uh, is a bit jacked up it's uh it's the casters pulled back and it's towed out super hard. I'm not sure what bent yet. I haven't pulled the wheel off and looked. But, um, yeah, that sucks. Here's an idea of how bad the wheel is in the back. And then, fiberglass wise, side skirt took a beating. Let's see. Cracked right there, all the way through. beating right there. Sorry everything's out of focus. And then pretty much cracked and ripped up right there. And then the front bumper I'm completely I've completely lost one side. It's over there but um yeah I completely snapped one corner off of it. 
I'm pretty much probably gonna call it a loss on the bumper. I don't know. Just depends on if I want to if I want to work on fiberglass again or not. Fender's toasted. We had to bend it all up and break shit. But somebody, the guy that came through and gave me the tension rod bracket, also brought an extra fender. So that's a plus. Yeah, completely took a loss on one of my wheels. Somebody, people who are spectating right next to the wall actually <laughs> came up to my tent and was like, hey, we found pieces of your wheel over here on the other side of the fence, so apparently I, uh, I lost some pieces over there. Sorry, I look like shit. I drank the pain away last night, so I'm definitely feeling a little hungover. But I'm going to explain a little bit of what I think happened. I, I don't know if this is going to be 100% what actually happened, but uh, from the footage that I've seen, and uh, from what I can remember, this is what I think happened. I got put in that competition. That's what was happening at the time. Of course, that's not the, the problem here. But uh, that's what I was doing at the time, and it was my second run, and I was leading, and I was trying to go fast, trying to make up for my run I fucked up, <laughs> where I was chasing him, but uh, I was trying to go real fast, and pretty much what happened was I kicked it into the first corner, started my initiation, flipped it so that I can go into the clipping point, and then I went, when I turned into that clipping point, uh, I went to full lock. And my problem is, I took my front spacers off, which those spacers gave me enough tire clearance not to rub my tension rods. So, since those were off, I was rubbing tension rods, and so every time I go to full lock, it's pretty much like putting the brakes on because the tire's rubbing on a piece of metal very hard, so it's just like using the brakes. So when I kicked it out and how I was supposed to transition towards the wall, I got put in full lock and then with the amount of speed that I had, the angle and the amount of front braking, it pretty much just stayed in like a crab walk type of position to where it was stuck in full lock, stuck at that angle, and stuck at that speed, and there was nothing I could have really done to pull it out of it. So by the time I've released the brakes, tried to get everything pulled out of lock and everything, it was just too late. I was going too fast, brakes weren't going to help me, I, even though I did slam on the brakes, but it wasn't near enough and I flew into the wall. So you could see I went front first into the wall. I hit the first barrier with my front end, that moved that barrier out of the way and exposed the side of the barrier in front of it, and the side of my car hit that one. It is way past due for me to do over fenders anyways, but uh, I'll try to kick it out and see what it looks like. And the front end, I'm gonna have to pull something together to figure out how to get everything pulled out to where I can get a new tension rod bracket in and get it all aligned again. And I still don't know what's bent in the back, but I'm not dealing with the car for the next few days. I'm done looking at it, I don't wanna to touch it, but it's just gonna to have to go back up on jack stands, pull everything apart and see what I did wrong. This sucks, but the thing is though, is you can't let stuff like this deter you from drifting because this is what's gonna happen. If you're coming to the track and you're not expecting to total your car by the end of the event, you have the wrong mindset. And if you think that, oh, I'm good, I'm never gonna hit the wall, I'm not gonna break my car, everything's gonna be great, something's gonna happen. <laughs> but if you go there knowing that anything can happen, it's gonna be a lot better when it does, because it, it will happen, it's just a matter of when. I had the, I had the right mindset, I handled the situation pretty well. Um, I'm definitely kind of feeling it now, <laughs> but uh, it'll be all right, I think. I just got to get everything pulled back and get the car on the road again. But this sucks, guys. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you to everyone that helped because if it wasn't for everyone that came about, it I would have gotten near as much shit done after the wreck than I did. But um, thank you for the people who gave me parts, the people that helped try to pull my front end back out, get the car rolling again, and... There was one guy that gave me a t-shirt. Uh, Derek was the one that uh, gave me the trailer ride home, which if it wasn't for him, the car would have been stuck at the track. Yeah, I got a lot of good friends, and uh, I need to make sure I never take that for granted. But I don't know what else to talk about. I'm bummy, shitty day, shitty weekend, but 
I had fun. I had so much fun before the wreck, and I'm glad that I went. So, I'm going to start editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed seeing the carnage of what happened today. <laughs> and in the next video, is probably going to be trying to fix this piece of shit. So, until then, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.